Well, so getting your stuff back after a breakup isn't the worst part, but it can be the trickiest. So we thought uh, here in the Whale Morning Show we'd give you some tips on how to get your stuff back and how to make that breakup stick. First thing they suggest, the experts, is pick the right time. There's a window of opportunity. If you go back too early, everybody's still angry and it's unproductive. And if you wait months, you'll end up prolonging the misery. So give it a week or two to cool off, but no longer than that. Know what you really need during a breakup. Don't go back for something if it's easier to buy one, if it's not worth risking an ambush, or worse yet, a backslide. So just give it up. Use text messages. Avoid contact by phone or email. Hearing that voice again can give you all kinds of problems, and email makes everything too serious. So another thing to avoid during a breakup, face-to-face -face contact. Have them leave a box on the doorstep, deliver it to your work, or ask a friend to go pick it up. Anything else, and well, you're playing with fire. And keep gifts, but return heirlooms. Actually, you might even not want to keep the gifts. But an heirloom belongs to the whole family, and it's not your family anymore, so it's always good to give those back. Put leftovers in storage. Take all the pictures down and box them up. Put new sheets on the bed and anything your ex left behind, anything the two of you shared, get it out of sight. So those are some of the things to do during a breakup, which can be nasty. I think more so with younger people. Older people are a little more mature. They handle it a little bit better. I'm sorry. It's over. But it's not you. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not you. It's your body. Classic rock. Oh,